Hey, okay, so welcome to this episode of Tricky Topics, where I'm going to cover uh, the basics of an experiment and what the kind of main components of an experiment are. So as you've already read about, um, the two kind of main things that we're going to cover today are independent and dependent variables. Now, when we talk about an experiment, um, people tend to use the word experiment when they're talking about any type of study. But in psychology, when we're saying something is an experiment or we're talking about an experimental design, there are very specific characteristics um, that we're looking for um, or that uh, a study has to possess or have in order to be considered um, an experimental type of study. So the two kind of main characteristics that we're looking for, the first is something called random assignment. Now random assignment is when we take a population of um, participants, individuals, um, people or animals that we're interested in studying. Now we obviously if we're interested in kind of studying everything about humans we can't take every single human and run a study on them. Um, that's not very easy to do. So what we do is we take a sample of those people and the hope is that the sample that we take is representative or it has a similar kind of makeup to it that the general um, population that we're interested in also has. Um, and so we take this sample of participants uh, and we randomly assign them to groups within this experiment that we've designed. So the first characteristic that's important with the experiment is random assignment. The second characteristic of an experiment is the one that we're going to mainly focus on within this tricky topic and that has to do with manipulating and measuring variables. So if we kind of move into this I've already mentioned that we're going to talk about independent and dependent variables. So what the heck are independent and dependent variables? So I've already mentioned that we're going to be manipulating and measuring different things within our experiment. So when we talk about an independent variable, that's the variable or that's the thing that we're actually manipulating. It's the thing that we're changing in some way. Um, so if I were interested, for example, in a new energy drink, so I just invented a new energy drink, and I want to see whether or not it uh, changes alertness. Does it make people more alert? Hopefully that's what an energy drink would do. So I want to see if, if it's going to do anything. When I look at whether or not my energy drink does something, I'm manipulating something. I'm adding something to this situation. I'm changing things in some way. I'm giving people an energy drink that they didn't previously have. So in this example, an energy drink, the addition of that would be your independent variable. That's what I'm changing in this situation. Now the dependent variable is what you're actually measuring. So if using that example that I just mentioned with my new energy drink uh, I wanted to see if it caused an increase in alertness. Alertness would be what I'm measuring. I'm looking to see if anything has changed there. I'm measuring alertness in some way. So I might measure, um, you know, heart rate. Uh, I might measure how well they do on a test. I might measure a, a variety of different things. I might just ask them, how alert do you feel? But whatever it is that I'm measuring, I'm looking at is the dependent variable. So if you think about it in a little bit of a different way, we're looking to see if what we're changing is doing anything, is, is having any kind of an effect on uh, whatever the participants or whoever the participants are. So if I give an energy drink, is there an effect? Is there an increase in alertness in any way? Now if you were um, to kind of picture this on a graph then you would expect uh, your independent variable to be on the x-axis and then your dependent variable to be on the y-axis. So giving people uh, an energy drink or not and then how alert do they become? So that's kind of how we would map things out. But the main thing to remember is that an independent variable is what we're changing and a dependent variable is what we're measuring. So uh, a trick to kind of remembering uh, the difference between these two is that a dependent variable is dependent on what you've changed. So it's dependent on what it is that you're doing. So if you remember that one, you can remember that independent variables the other one. Independent variables what you're actually manipulating in some way. Dependent variable you're measuring that change. So just to kind of 
give you a bit of a visual in terms of how we would set up this this energy drink kind of experiment that I've mentioned. As I mentioned before, you're going to take some kind of a sample of participants. So we're grabbing um, a group of people from this population that we're interested in. I'm interested in seeing whether or not my energy drink makes um, university age students more alert. So if that's the population I'm interested in, I'm going to try and get a sample of university students. So a sample that is representative of the population I'm interested in. So that's my first step. Grab a sample of participants. The second step is that kind of uh, one of those characteristics I mentioned, it's random assignment. So we're taking that sample of people and we're now going to put them into two different groups. And the two different groups that we're going to put them into um, rely upon that independent variable or that, uh, that change that we're making. So we're going to take some of the participants and we're going to put them in what's called the experimental group. And the experimental group is the group that we're actually changing things with. So this is going to be the group group that's actually going to get that energy drink. The other group of people, the, the leftover people that we've got, we're putting them into another group. And the other group that we're putting them into is something called the control group. So this is the group that's not going to have anything changed. They're the ones that are going to stay the same so that we can see does the group that we change stuff in have anything different than the group that stayed the same? So the experimental group, they're getting this brand new energy drink that I kind of just made up, and the control group is not getting anything. So we've got our manipulation of our independent variable, and you'll see that the independent variable applies to both of these groups, but one group is getting a change in it and one group is not having any kind of a change. So we're manipulating what it is that they're getting. After we do that, we give some of them the energy drink, we don't give others the energy drink, what are we interested in? So in this case we're interested in how alert it makes those individuals. So in the experimental group we're going to measure that and because we're measuring, it's the dependent variable. So we're looking at a change or looking for a change in alertness. And similarly, we're going to measure the exact same thing in the control group to see if there's a change in their alertness. And then what we're going to do is essentially statistically compare those two groups in some way. So is the alertness that we're seeing in the group that got the energy drink any different from the group that didn't get the energy drink. If the energy drink worked, I would expect to see an increase in alertness in the group that got it and no increase in alertness in the group that didn't receive it. So you'll see that our independent variable has to do with a drink. Did they get an energy drink or not? Our dependent variable is alertness. So for both groups, it's the same dependent variable and we want to then compare the outcome on that dependent variable. So was there any kind of an effect? So again, change and effect. Independent variable, dependent variable. Manipulation and measuring. So that's how you can kind of remember the difference between an independent variable and a dependent variable. Thanks.